My name is Pam Wentz and I'm the National Practice Leader of Georgeson's Unclaimed Property Consulting Practice. Unclaimed Property Audits are not typical audits. They last a lot longer, they're a lot more complicated, and the auditors don't play by typical rules that other auditors play by. Unclaimed property touches a lot of different areas of the company, so you want to make sure that you've got somebody from each one of those areas that's on your audit team. You also want to make sure you can get legal involved. You may want to consider hiring an outside consultant if you don't have anybody with expertise in unclaimed property on your team. You're going to want to get a list of the participating states. It's very important that that list comes directly from the states, that notification. Do not rely on a list from the auditors. They may give you a list of every state they have a contract with. That's not necessarily the same as the list that have signed on. It's also a great idea to perform an internal review of your organization before the audit starts. What's dangerous in unclaimed property is you don't know what you don't know. And if you've got any issues of non-compliance, you want to find them before the auditors find them. The internal review should start by looking at your corporate structure. Where are you incorporated? Where are the operating entities incorporated? Have you had any mergers or acquisitions? Your corporate structure is probably the one factor that's going to have the greatest effect on your liability. So it's very important to understand how you can limit the audit as well due to your corporate structure. So to sum it up, be proactive is the best thing you can do. Take the steps that you need to take to protect your company and to get through the audit in the best possible manner.